The Vintec Vocational Training Center offers three-year courses in 14 trades. Classes are overcrowded and there is a critical shortage of class instructors. However, the center's management attributes these impediments to a lack of funds. This year's budget of $34 million was insufficient for recruitment and expansion. The DTA leader wanted to know whether the satellite centers could be opened elsewhere. McHenry Venani said for Namibia to be competitive in the global market, it is vital to have a skilled workforce. If resources are available, can BTC be able to have three satellites, say one of Kahanja, uh, Maruru uh, and Hrotu, yes. for example? Can you be able to run satellite centers? And I was having some ideas also for us to go to Opu mm -hmm. to set up also a mini uh, vocational because of the funds this way, but we cannot do. We were also given a land in Okahanja. Mm -hmm. We did not utilize that. The center's head of training, Dorcas Nangolo, added that lack of funds also stifles plans to open another center in Hobabas. Nangolo also expelled perceptions that qualifications obtained at local vocational training centers were of low standard compared to those obtained elsewhere. If you go to South Africa now doing office administration and you want to do fit and tenor in six months, you can do it and get it and four. And then you come back to Namibia that I go to and four. But we put them in our workshop. It's a big challenge. They cannot do anything. The pass rate is 86%, but the institution has to ensure quality internship. And for this purpose, they are in partnership with 130 local companies. Vocational training is one of the paced trades that produces graduates ready for the market and can greatly contribute to employment creation. For example, here at the Vindo Vocational Training Center, 63% of the graduates are employed, while 11% are self-employed. I'm Laimi Hangundu reporting for NBC News.